In this video, you will learn about L1 regularization. While tweaking the model, the model can easily overfit or underfit. To avoid this, we use regularization. It helps us to get an optimal model. It reduces the error by fitting the model appropriately on the given training set and avoid overfitting. L1 regularization is lasso regression. It shrinks the coefficients of the model to zero if they are not significant. Therefore, that feature can be removed from the model. Let's import pandas as PD. I'm going to make one variable df. I'll call my CSV file pd underscore read underscore csv and inside this I will pass my csv file name and this is a wine data set let's look at the head of our data frame so we have this data frame and we have this column so we have columns such as alcohol malic acid ash and so on and here the target variable is this target we have to predict the quality of the wine based on this independent features now let us look at the shape of our data frame I will write df dot shape and here you will see there are 178 rows and 14 columns so it's a small data set and we can also check if there are any missing values because if your data set has missing values then sklearn will create problem it will not fit the model let's check that I will write df dot is null dot sum and here you will see in the output so we will get the missing counts column wise so here we are getting zero that means there are no missing values present in our data set and now we are going to split this data set into x and y so in x we will have all the independent variables and in y we will have our target variable first i will make one variable x then i will call the data frame df dot iloc i want all the rows so i will type column and i want columns from 0 to 30 these are all my independent variables i'll make one variable y this will have my target variable i will write df dot iloc and in this i want all the columns all the rows and for rows we type this column and to get the last column which is the target variable we will write minus one here let us execute our code now we are going to split this data set x and y into x train x test y train y test for that first i will import the twin test split i will write from sklearn dot model selection and from this we are going to import the class twin test split import twin test split now i'm going to make those variable x train x test y train y test and then i will call this class train test split inside this i will pass x and y the next parameter will be the test size and we are going to keep the test size as 0.3 and then the next parameter is random state if you want your result to be same as mine then you have to type the same number and i'm going to put here 100 let us execute our code now let us check the shape of x train and x test so i will write here x train dot shape x test dot shape now here in the output you will see that we got the shape of x train and x test and these are the shapes now we are going to import the select model select from model class from sklearn dot feature selection so i will write from sklearn dot feature selection feature selection import select from model this, this will help us for l1 and then i will call one algorithm the logistic regression we are going to apply the l1 using the logistic regression i will write here from sklearn dot linear model import logistic regression using l1 inside the logistic regression we will select the significant features so all the features whose coefficients are zero, they are not significant for our model and features whose coefficients are not zero, they are significant and we will see how we will find those uh, features and their coefficients value. Now I'll make one variable select 
or SCL and then I will call this select from model class. Inside this I will call the logistic regression algorithm and inside this now we will pass our parameter and the first parameter is penalty. So in penalty we will use the L1 regularization so I will write here L1 and the second parameter is C and C is the C is equal to 10 I'll explain you what is this C and then solver and we will use lib linear here I will write here lib linear so C is the strength of the regularization and it works in the opposite way that is if you keep the value of C high the regularization will be less so if I am writing here 10 then there then the effect will be less and if you keep the value of C low then the effect will be very high and we will see when we will adjust the value of C how many significant features we are getting and then we have this solver which is liblinear liblinear is used for optimization and for small data set liblinear is a good choice and our data, is, data set is small so I took this liblinear now let us execute our code so we got this parameter C so let me see so this is capital letter not the small letter you have to type in capital letter C here and now we are going to fit this this SEL on the train on the training data set and we will see how the significant features are uh, we can find using this so I will call this SEL dot fit dot x train and then y train so we have fitted here and we got the output here so these are the parameters that we have used and now we will see what are the significant features after fitting this uh, logistic regression with these parameters so I will write select and from this we have a function get underscore features names output so here you will see uh, it says that these are the significant features for the model and if you want to count so what I will do I will copy this code from here and then I will call the function length and inside this I will paste it and now you will see here there are total 13 significant features and if I type x train dot shape so there are total 13 features and with this parameters it is saying that all these 13 features are significant and as I have said that if you keep the value of C high the impact of the regularization will be less and if you keep the value of C low then the impact will be high and let's see that so now you see now you are seeing that we are getting 13 significant features now we will reduce this number and instead of 10 I'll make it 1 and now let's see how many significant features we will get so I will run this line of code again this one again the 14th one 15th one again and now you will see we got now less features here and if I call this function so now we got 10 significant features so after setting the value of c is equal to 1 it says that the significant features in your in our model is now 10 not 13 and if I reduce it further let's see how many we, we will get so I will write here 0 0.5 and I will run this code again this line again this line again and this line again so now with this 0 0.5 we are getting 9 significant features so this is how you have to use the value of C you have to check which value of C is giving you good results so now let's we, we will keep this 0 0.5 we can also make it 0 0.1 and you can try on your side the different values of C so if I keep 0 0.1 and let's see so if I keep this the value of 0 0.1 C is equal to 0 0.1 then total number of significant features we are getting is 7 so you have to adjust the value of C and then see how many significant features you are getting now we are going to fit this model so I will call this uh, select function so and there is one more function before that I will tell you select dot get support so it says that in this output you will see you are getting true false so it says that all the column names where it is uh, giving us true they are significant 
and where it is false they are not significant so if i say uh, if i type here x train dot columns it says that the first two columns first and second they are true that is alcohol and malic acid and if we see the output you will see here alcohol and malic acid they are significant then it says that the next one is fall which is ash so if we look at this feature so we are not seeing ash here so that is false that is not significant then the next is alkanality of ash which is true and you will see here we will find that variable here and it is present here so uh, this support will give you true and false and true means the variable is significant false means that variable is not uh, not significant now what we are going to do is so we have this two x train and x test so this this is the original one now we are going to transform this one using this select this scl and then we will run a model on that so i will call here i will make two new variable x train one and then i will call that select and then i will transform and i will transform the original x train so i am transforming this original x train so in this we have more features and in this x train one we will have only seven features and i'll tell you and then i will also do the transformation for x test also x test underscore and x test one and then select dot transform x test and i'll tell you the difference between the two so if i call the shape of x train dot one and x train and the original x train so you will see the difference so in x train one we have only seven columns and in x train the original one we have total 13 columns so these seven columns are the significant features and these 13 columns are the raw features or the what the original data set has so th this is the difference between the two and now when you want to fit your model you have to fit it on the new variables which is the transformed one because this contains only the significant features not the extra features and now let's fit it so i will make one object glm and then i will call logistic regression so what we have done here so far before i fit the model i'll tell you what we have done so far so we have used this l1 regularization and we have adjusted these parameters and we have found the significant feature so we have reduced the feature or you can say the dimension reduction we have done here so out of the 13 features now we have only seven features and they are the significant features once we have found the seven features now the next step is to build the model so what we are going to do now is we are just building the model on these significant features only so i have called this logistic regression class and saved in this object glm and now i will fit this so i will call glm dot fit and i will fit it on the new one the x train one and the y train so here you will see in the output this is just uh, a message you don't have to worry about this this is a warning so we have done the fitting and now i'm going to make predictions so and i will save the results in variable y underscore pred so i will call here glm dot predict and we will make predictions on x test let us execute our code so we got error here okay we have to pass the new one the transformed one because it says that x has 13 features but logistic regression is expecting seven features so this is the original one but we have to pass the new one because we have fit the model on this new x train so now if i run this code again i won't get any error now if i print this y underscore pred so these are the predicted class or the predicted target variable for our wine data set so we can also check the accuracy now this is the last step and to check the accuracy first we will import from sklearn dot metrics import accuracy score now i will print the accuracy so i will call here accuracy score and then y pred y test and y pred 
so here you will see the overall accuracy for our model we got is 92% so this is a very good uh, accuracy you can say 92% is a good accuracy so we have seen here how we can select the best features so for what you have to do is you have to get the data set and then you have to call uh, you have to do this train test split and then you have to call this select from model class and we, uh, we will use this uh, L1 regularization on logistic regression then we will pass this parameters and we will adjust the value of C to get the significant features once we have these significant features we will transform the original x-train and x-test and then we will fit the model on the new transformed uh, x-train and x-test and then we will get the output and then we can check the accuracy of that model so this is how the L1 regularization work I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my video, you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.